Good morning my YouTube friends, it's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids and uh, I thought I'd just bring you into the kitchen this morning. Well actually it's uh, three minutes and then it's uh, midday. Um, but um, I've got my Mazda Valia, um, this one here, uh, long yellow striped, that's a hybrid. And I've got this little Stellus which is a species one and uh, I was watching uh, Mick of Mick's Mazda Valleys yesterday and uh, when I watch somebody who's an expert in their field, uh, I mean Mick's very modest, um, he wouldn't say f that he was an expert, he just loves the Mazda Valleys and he grows them exceedingly well and then what I do then I get inspired and I go upstairs and look at my Mazda Valleys and I've got two in the bathroom which are recovering and uh, that's the Pixis and that's the Coriacea and, and I looked at these Mazda Valleys this morning and um, I thought oh god Mix looks so healthy and mine look terrible and um, anyway so I'm starting first with this one and this one here, um, I did actually, it's in this little pot here, it was in this little pot, and I did have this uh, live sphagnum moss, which I've chopped up now. And um, when I looked at this, um, it, I mean it's not got a bad root system has it, can you see? It, it came actually potted in uh, bark. Um, but it was absolutely bone dry this morning, absolutely bone dry and uh, so I thought to myself well I can't have it bone dry but then again just if I leave it just in that moss, I mean this is like the Master Valley is if, if you fiddle with this long enough it'll fall into different sections. Um, so I thought this morning what I'd do after uh, watching um, Mick um, show us around his um, greenhouse, I thought well I'll check these this morning and uh, you can see we've had a little bit of, um, well I think these that I'm pulling off here now, these are just um, the old ones. But you see, it is falling apart if I'm not careful. And I'm trying to just keep it intact like that, you see, just to make a little... That leaf's broken a bit there. Can you see that leaf now there? Oh, it's fallen, it's fallen off. Never mind. So what I've done is... Um, I've prepared a mix. And in that mix, you'll see there's a, a little bit of this dried um, live moss. But what I'm not going to do, because I've watered this, um, because I've got that moistened um, sphagnum moss there. What I'm, oh, sorry about that. Let's just bring it right up so you can see me. So what I'm wanting to do, you see that's a bit low, I want that to come higher, is I'm going to repot this in this dryer mixture. And uh, so let's, let me see what I'm doing. And this is um, perlite, orchiata bark. And uh, like I say, some of that dried sphagnum moss. So let's just, you see, it goes in there. So it's the right size pot. What I might just do, just to keep those roots hydrated, is put a little bit of this live moss just round the top, like that. Just to keep those roots hydrated. I mean, it doesn't look a bad little plant, this doesn't. 
but it, it's, it's actually on the side of the room where um, the radiator is and maybe that's causing these roots to dry out too quick. You see I've got holes in this part and uh, let's just all this sphagnum moss I'm putting around here now this was actually um, inside that pot so let's just make sure what I'm trying to do is just maybe just put the middle bit so it's more firm in that pot I did have a wire this little wire here but um, should, it should be okay without the wire. But it was very, when I picked it out this morning, it was actually bone dry. So there we've got it now, you see. We've got the, uh, uh, the layer of the moss. And when that dries, I can remember that we've got some bark underneath. And it should be fine. I'm a little bit paranoid at the moment, as you know. You know, when things start going wrong and you just think, oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, let's hope that that um, little orchid there now, I'm just finding, I'm looking in the cupboard here just to think what I can just, what I can just put it in for the moment. I'll just put it in this little doggy cup. And I haven't got a date on this, no date at all. So what I'm going to do with this one is um, put a date on it and uh, just keep my eye that um, it's going to be okay. Well, I'm back again and I've just been into the garden and uh, picked some more of this uh, live moss that I've got out there. And I'm going to chop some up and uh, just let it soak a minute in this uh, water and then what I'm going to do then is just have a look at the uh, Mazda Valleys here I mean they, were, they are due to be watered today but um, let's have a look what we're dealing with. I've got the uh, Phragmopediums upstairs. Um, they're uh, having a flush today. So let's clear that tray and see what we're dealing with. Right, I've got this one. looks as though it's been a bit um, short of water that it's coming out all crinkly um, we've got this one which looks a little bit worse for wear it's trying to bring out a new growth there well, that looks terrible doesn't it and uh, we've got this one and there's the the uh, section upstairs which um, it's got a new growth. Uh, the one that's flowered that I've not brought down yet. So let's just have a look. Now, I don't think, you see that one? Can you see? We've got a, a root coming up here. And uh, I don't think I've repotted these. I might have put some, you see, look, I've got some lava up there, so I must have put something in at some stage. But, um, you see, so this area here, that's as dry as anything. But we've got roots, we've got new roots, look, root. Right, so... 
I'm going to bob that one into that little area there, into that little pot the Stellus was sat in, just to hydrate it a little bit. And uh, I should be digging all this uh, lava rock out of here. Um, now, let's have a look at the next one. even in its original pot. So let's have a look at this one. Oh yes, this one's definitely uh, the, the media has got a pong. So uh, this one was definitely in need of repotting. And uh, it's trying to send out new roots. Uh, so likewise I'm going to have to get another little container now that's tried to send out something from there which has aborted but I've got a another growth there can you see there and I've got this wrinkly one here right so let's just put some water which is actually it, this is tap water but it's quite tepid. Let's put that one in there. And then we'll go to this one. So what I'm going to have to do now is, uh, with this fresh sphagnum moss that I've just cut up there, like with the Stella, I will, um, I'll just lay that on the top. And um, I shall have to add some more media into this container here. Right, so let's do the last one. Whew. Goodness gracious, that pong's awful. No wonder this one looks so bad. So those pots need cleaning out. Let's have a look. Got a new root there, and uh, see, some of these have actually grabbed the lava rock. Um, got another new root there. Can you see that root there? And uh, right, so let's put that in some water now. So it might be that um, I can add a little bit of this uh, lava rock back in. So that one's in there now having a soak. So let's just have a look. I've got one clean pot. I'll just have to go into the garage and get uh, some more. So bear with me. I thought what I'd do is I'll just uh, add a little bit of this lava rock back. And then... Um, Surprising. I've got some grow stones there as well. Um, how they do like the roughness. The roots love to uh, attach. Right. Okay, so I don't need to um, wash this lava rock. Um, even though the media, I mean it's not bad, but it is going, And uh, but I think the lava rock's fine. I think sometimes, you know, um, rightly or wrongly, we kind of um, keep our orchids in sterile conditions, uh, which we shouldn't do because in the wild, you know, they get everything thrown at them. Right, so, okay, so this is the uh, mixture we're using, and uh, there's still a little bit of the um, dried up sphagnum moss there, the live, and uh, let's just put a little bit in here, just to, um, just 
just to aid with a little bit of uh, moisture in these pots and we'll have a look at the uh, to see how they're doing and, uh, yes I, I mean I uh, I love to watch uh, Mix Mazda Valleys and uh, He's got this cool greenhouse and uh, and also uh, Lynn Smith, she's a new, uh, um, I can't remember what the word is, um, when uh, you know you, you upload videos, um, creator or something like that and uh, she also has uh, beautiful orchids. Right, now there we go. Now let's have a look. I've got three nice clean pots and uh, let's have a look what we're dealing with. Now this was the first one so let's see. Can you see what I'm doing? What I'm trying not to do really in some ways is to um, disturb these roots too much so if there's a little bit of bar left on it. I'm not going to um, I'm not going to worry. I don't want to um, I don't want to actually uh, disturb it too much. Right, there are one or two little um, dead uh, roots. Let's just have a look. See that one? That one? That one? That one, that one, that one, that one. Let's just see. See that was, that one's quite some are mushy, so in some ways you do have to just check them because it, otherwise you might be cutting off. A root that is still viable. That little one there, I'm trying to get hold of this one here. I should go in the garage and get the smaller pair of scissors. But uh, anyway, so let's see one or two just down here. So I don't know what happened to my Coriacea and Pixis, I think, basically, I've kept them too wet and uh, they've only got to be wet for 24 hours and it'll take your orchids down. So. Uh, I've always let these, um, the, the, this hybrid type here, I've always let these go bone dry. I, in, in to the respect that um, I've not watered them enough at, at, on occasions, but at least they're not dead. Okay, we've got some roots here that have uh, rotted the old roots. I don't know whether it's uh, in focus then, I do apologise if I wasn't. There we go, you see that little root there, this one. It's, that's quite alright. So, the first one. And uh, look at the leaves. Okay, so that one's got a little bit of everything in there. It's got uh, Bark, lava rock, a little bit of live moss. So what I'm going to do now here is mix this um, perlite. Get 
that's her right down there. where they're putting these uh, Master Valley is now in new media. See I've still got that root there. I'm sure it's grown up you know because uh, it didn't want to go down. But there's one done and what I'm not going to do especially with these sticks because they do they do um, rot and I don't want them to rot so that's the first one let's have a look at the second one I don't want to uh, bore you rigid by uh, taking you through all these repots but uh, let's see if we can get a second one done and then see that's got a oh that's lucky I was going to say that's got a live root on it, that has, and I don't want to, to break that root off. And then... There, can you see? That one as well. So there are signs of good root growth here. Um, so I'm not going to disturb it too much. I've got some dead roots there which I'm picking off. But let's cut that one back. Let's take, have a look around this side. Another little dead root there. You see you've got a nice root there and a lovely root there in this root. So this one's got a, although it's brown where I'm cutting this one now, is actually green at the back so there we go. I don't think that's a bad root system. We've got a new growth there, we've got a new growth there, we've got a new growth there. So Where's a new little pot? There we go. And again, let's mix everything up. I've got this live moss, but I don't think, because I've added a little bit of live moss in with the mixture, I don't think, I don't believe, let me see, I don't believe I'm going to need to add any further moss on the top. So let's right, let's just put that little bit there. Let's have a look inside the pot. Trying to make it firm there so the roots can go down. There we go. Now let's see. here. So we've got a little bit of um, live moss. You can see that live moss through there. There's a bit of grow stone, uh, lava rock and there's some of the roots there. So I didn't need to go any higher with the size of pot. Um, I just needed to uh, give fresh media. So that's two I've done now. I don't think there's any need to show you a third one. I've just got this other one to do. 
and uh, and we've already shown you the little Stella Stellis our our gem tata. There we go. So just an easy little repotting video today, and um, thank you for joining me. And no doubt I'll be back shortly. Bye-bye now.